so help me God. Two days after President Trump's inauguration, George Papadopoulos was in Israel and appeared to still be acting on behalf of the campaign. A new relationship between the United States and all of Israel. According to court documents, less than a year earlier, Papadopoulos began emailing Trump campaign officials and pushing meetings with Russian operatives. At a national security meeting on March 31, 2016, Papadopoulos told Mr. Trump that he had connections that could help arrange a meeting between then-candidate Trump and President Putin. Ten days earlier, Mr. Trump introduced his newly minted foreign policy team to editors from the Washington Post. George Papadopoulos. He's an oil and energy consultant, excellent guy. But on Monday night, Mr. Trump's lawyer told CBS News that the president definitely doesn't have a clue who George Papadopoulos is. Papadopoulos' communication with the Russian operatives began when the main contact, nicknamed The Professor, told him in April of 2016 that he had dirt on then-candidate Hillary Clinton, including thousands of emails. That occurred well before the Democratic National Committee made the intrusion by Russian hackers public. In May 2016, Papadopoulos emailed a high-ranking campaign official. Russia has been eager to meet Mr. Trump. That email was forwarded with this commentary. Donald Trump is not doing these trips. It should be someone low-level in the campaign so as not to send any signal. In August, after Mr. Trump accepted the Republican nomination for president, a campaign supervisor encouraged Papadopoulos to make the trip to Russia if it is feasible. Another former Trump foreign policy advisor, Carter Page, did make a trip to Russia, where he gave a speech in July of 2016. Page was asked last night whether he had exchanged emails with Papadopoulos. Uh, probably a few, yeah. Were you in email chains with him about Russia? It may have come up from time to time.